2024 schedule. Um, and then the opponents really for the next five years are out. We'll pull it up on the screen here momentarily. There it is. 2024, extremely challenging. Chris, you reported this earlier in the week that these would be Michigan's opponents and the locations. But for the people that can't see on the screen right now, home game, home games against Michigan State, Minnesota, Northwestern, Oregon, and Southern California. Away games at Illinois, Indiana, Ohio State, and Washington. Very, very challenging when you also factor in the fact that Michigan has Texas coming to town in week two and Fresno State coming to town in the non-conference as well. Fresno State currently ranked number 24 in the country. This is about as tough as it gets. It's the toughest I've ever seen at this current moment. Things can change. Teams are different from year to year. Uh, extremely challenging. You can see the the rest of the schedules there. So they, Anthony, do you do you know what they they called this model? I was watching BTN. It's just a ridiculous name again. It's not the Flex Protect Plus, but something they similar. called it like the Flexed Protect eighteen or something. Yeah, and there were Roman numerals, and it just I felt like uh, Texas with a dollar sign in front of it somewhere. Just yeah, uh, it's, <laughs> it sounds like I some kind of insurance that Carl Molden or something would have tried to sell you it on PBS at midnight or something. You know. <laughs> so anyway, that's just me. But yeah, I'm dating myself. <laughs> <laughs> I have no clue who that is, but it exactly. sounds about right to me. Yeah. Um, so you have this model within five years. If you're a college football player for five years, you will play in every single stadium in the Big Ten. I think that's you know a kind of a perk there. Within the five years, I think everyone will play each other the same amount of times. Um, so they, they did create some sort of balance there, but I think they really maybe not screwed Michigan, but they gave Michigan a really challenging start to this whole model. They did. And uh, yeah, when we when I heard about it a couple of days ago, obviously we got it from somebody directly involved or we wouldn't have reported it. I thought, you got to be kidding me. Is there still time to, to tweak this thing? You know, but then the fan in me said, holy crap, this is going to be some this is going to be fun on a weekly basis. Right. We get to go out to Washington to cover it. That's another thing. And we've never been there. I've been waiting. Our, our trip got canceled a couple of years ago due to covid. And so now we get to go out there and party uh, in the Bay. Or on the lake, what, what's the lake called? Is that uh, lake actually the Washington? Puget Sound? Okay, well, we get to go out there and, and tailgate out there, uh, you know, maybe take a raft out to somebody's boat. We'll, we'll invite ourselves out, we have no shame. But to go out there and then to get Oregon back here, you know what I'm doing right now? If I'm the champion circle, I am on that one more year campaign for JJ McCarthy, for Donovan Edwards, for all these guys, Drake Nugent, and saying, Man, you know what? Uh, we want you to come back here. Uh, let's get this thing done. Uh, don't you want to be part of this? Uh, and in fact, I can't wait to talk to some of those guys and ask them about next year's schedule and just kind of see what they say, because there's more excitement. Let's be honest. These guys were going through the motions in the first three games, fellas. They were bored. And sometimes that lends itself to playing without focus and concentration. We saw that. So, um, and then they picked it up. You know, everybody was talking about Nebraska's number one ranked defense and uh, they kicked their ass because, they had something to play for. And, and now, you know what? They want to rank team until, until Penn State. That will not be the case next year. So I can't wait. I'm excited. There's only a couple patsies on there, Michigan State, Illinois, you know. So other than that, that's going to be one heck of a slate. I love this, man. And and I know that there's, you know, some shaking your fist at the sky for, for getting that tough draw right out of the gate, which, you know, Ohio State, I don't think plays USC until 2026. I don't think they play Oregon until 2026 either, but – uh, for Michigan, I mean, if you're a season ticket holder, and I know some season ticket holders, uh, obviously we know a ton of them on the board and such and people we talk to that have just kind of throw their, thrown their hands up over the last few years about, yeah, you know, maybe we have the Ohio State game this year, but the home slate kind of sucks. And next year, you know, if you're someone for the last several years that has kind of just gotten through it, and not just get through it, I mean, you have fun going to the games and watching Michigan beat the hell out of these teams, but you're getting rewarded for that because this looks like this – looks like something that I would have put together when you could customize the conferences and the schedules in that, that video game uh, that we will see next summer, which will be awesome to mess around with in there too. Um, this, this is to me, more good football, more quality matchups is, is better for the fans. It's better for the team and having that juice and adding an emphasis to, you know, getting off to a quick start on the season, not necessarily, you know, building and building and building, towards something at the end, it's going to bring the best out of you week, week in and week out. And I mean, next year's schedule, again, it is loaded and we don't know who's going to be there. Uh, but, you know, at the same time, you look at all these games and 
we've been lamenting the fact for years that people talk about the college football playoff race and, oh, well, why is this two loss SEC team in the conversation? Why are they still lingering around? And I really do think, you know, if you find a way to win nine or 10 games in that setup that you're going to have moving forward, you're, you're going to be in the conversation still. You're going to be rewarded for playing tougher games. And now that it's an expanded playoff, you don't have, I mean, you have that margin for, for error or, or defeat if it comes to that. So to me, I'm super fired up about it. Uh, I, we we are going through a pocket of this season where we will not see Michigan play a team that's pro, gonna, that like a legit threat to make a bowl game until November. What we will see next year is so much more fun and so much more interesting. And, you know, if you're a program of Michigan's caliber, I don't think you, you're scared of that either. Um, you know, if you want to stay in that national title hunt, you welcome all comers and – let play ball and let chips fall where they may. If you lose three games at your fellows, you can easily make the playoff, right? I think at uh, least, yeah. Right. It'd be tough with three, I think. It depends on the, the three, I guess. I remember because I remember, I mean, way back when, uh, you know, they were nine and three or, or something like that, and, and they were still like number six or seven in the country. Uh, teams are going to beat themselves a little bit more, fellas, uh, beat each other up, I mean. So I yeah. think nine and three, I think you're going to have a shot with that schedule. Ten and two, you're in. Ten and two, you're in. Unless you know yeah. one of the losses is to like a Northwestern or Michigan, or Michigan State. State. But, but even then, look at the wins you would have. If, if right, that, exactly. If yep. So, guys, I, I'm excited. I, I, you know, we're gonna have some, we're gonna have some fun trips. You guys make fun of me for saying that when we're on the road. Let's go have some fun. But damn it, we're gonna have a hell of a lot of fun. Yeah, it, it can it can be very fun. But I can also still say that this realignment stuff, I hate. Yeah, I absolutely hate it. Um, but there are mm -hmm. gonna be fun matchups. There's no question about that. So USC, Oregon coming, and then, uh, you know, big road trip out to Washington next year. But that's going to be Michigan's schedule. Obviously, you can you can follow that along over at thewolverine.com as well if you want to get it all laid out in text form as opposed to audio or video. But uh, check us out over there.